Well, positively, Jack's our toy drive benefiting Jacksonville's Toys for Tots is underway, and people have been dropping off toys since 7 o'clock this morning. And we continue to need your help to make a child's holidays merry and bright. You have until 7 o'clock tonight to do that. News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle joins us live from outside here on the South Bank. A lot of toys piling up, Lena. <laughs> Good afternoon, Bruce. That's exactly right. It almost looks like the PAL has doubled since I was last out here around 10 o'clock. But just to give you a little bit of history, Toys for Tots actually started back in 1947 in L.A. It's been going on for 84 years and made its way all the way to the River City. And to tell us a little bit more about this effort and how it will impact local children, we're joined with Staff Sergeant Alec Roberts. So, you know, thank you so much for joining us on a Merry Toy Drive Day. You know, for starters, who do these toys directly benefit? Uh, these toys are going to go directly back to the kids of Jacksonville. Um, I'm the local toy size coordinator here, and that's what uh, these toys are going to be going to. And, you know, why is it so important that people come out and donate to our toy drive, other toy drives that will be going on for Toys for Tots? Why is this effort so important? Uh, the goal of Toys for Tots is just to get uh, make sure that all the kids that are um, not able to get toys for Christmas get a toy for Christmas. And so, you know, what would be your words to people who might be on the fence about donating or don't know if they have enough time? Kind of what words of encouragement would you give for them? Uh, any type of support helps. Uh, not only just giving toys, donating, um, even if it's monetary or helping out at the warehouse, volunteering, uh, anything helps. Every, every little bit helps. And so we know that these toys are going to be going to different toy drives that y'all are going to be hosting. You were telling me earlier, what is the process if a family is looking to be able to benefit from these drives and actually get toys for their children? What is the process that they should go about? The easiest way to find our website is to just Google Jacksonville Toys for Tots. Um, click on the top link and then from there, you just click apply for a toy. Perfect. And then, you know, before I let you go, I do have to ask you, since we are surrounded by toys, do you remember what your favorite childhood toy was? Um, really simple, basketball. I love basketball, I love watching basketball, and I love playing basketball, so. Okay, well, I would have to agree. I didn't play with a lot of different toys, but I did play soccer for 14 years, and my soccer ball was my best friend for a while. So, either way, thank you so much for joining us. So, if you are planning on coming out, I'm just going to show you a quick sweep of all the toys that we have so far. We've gotten little ponies, bicycles, hula hoops, tricycles, skateboards, scooters, plush toys. I mean, really such a collection of them, but we still need more. So, please come out to a four broadcast place today, anytime until 7 p.m. We'll be out here and you don't even have to get out of your car and we would so appreciate your donation to help make a child's holiday season that much more brighter. So I'll toss it back to you in the studio, Bruce. Selena, I got to tell you that Rich and I were out there a little earlier and there are a couple of people who came by with trunks full of toys. So appreciate it.